Karnataka Deputy Chief Minister DK Shiv Kumar denied any wrongdoing in response to accusations of soliciting votes in exchange of essential services. Addressing reporters at his residence in Bengaluru on Tuesday, April 16, Shiv Kumar asserted that the allegations made by the Bharatiya Janata Party and Janata Dal were merely attempts to deflect public attention. Hello and welcome. This is Akanksha and you're watching HW News English. The controversy erupted after video surfaced where Shiv Kumar purposely urged the apartment residents to support his brother DK Suresh in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections in return for water supply. Dismissing these claims as baseless, Shiv Kumar emphasized that such tactics were common during election seasons and urged the public to focus on substantive issues. This statement comes ahead of the Lok Sabha elections held in Karnataka on April 7. Deputy Chief Minister D.K. Shiv Kumar engaged in a series of meetings with voters residing in various residential complexes, including Prestige Divinity, Sattva Apartment, Shobha Apartments and Vastu Hill View Apartments in Bengaluru's RR Nagar. While actively campaigning for his brother D.K. Suresh, the Congress candidate from Bangalore Rural, Shiv Kumar allegedly made statements applying a quid pro quo arrangement with residents. He repeatedly assured that occupancy certificates for their flats would be only issued once their needs were met, but conditioned this on their support for DK Suresh. He urged the residents to ensure that all members of the communities committed to backing his brother, indicating a target of 1500 votes. The deputy CM said, and I quote, I know the builders here. I can assure you that until the flats are handed over to you and you have fulfilled your needs, we will not issue the occupancy certificate. But I have a condition for all of you. You have to come together for DK Suresh. Let's take a look at the footage. I have come for a business day. <laughs> business day. You have 2,510 houses, 6,000. 424 votes in this premises. Your major problem is you want a CSI which has been a part of this apartment to be handed over to you. Am I right? This is the main. Number two is cavalry water. Fully cavalry water to give more water. Then all others are uh, put in the lake issue, is all small issue. I know that this two issue. If I get this done, what you are going to do to me? Simple. DK Shiv Kumar further commented on the provision of water supply to areas facing scarcity, asserting knowledge of his distribution of levels in regions such as Raja Rajeshwari Nagar, Anekal, and Bangalore South. He emphasized the critical need to assist all residents of Bangalore, citing alarming fact that approximately 7,000 bowels have dried up. DK Shiv Kumar also discussed the significance of conscious voting, emphasizing it as a fundamental right and duty of every citizen. He stressed the need for transformative change in the governance, advocating for a government that prioritizes the welfare of its people. Addressing concerns raised by the residents regarding a congested road in Raja Rajeshwari Nagar due to the temple, Shiv Kumar conveyed a reluctance to relocate the temple for road widening, citing a desire to avoid invoking Lord Ganesha's displeasure. Instead, he proposed exploring alternative solutions, such as constructing a tunnel road to elevate traffic congestion while preserving the sanctity of the temple. What do you make of the Deputy Chief Minister's remarks? Do let us know what do you think in the comments. Till then, keep watching HW News English and download our app HW News Shorts for the latest news and updates. Stay ahead with our Cutting Edge News app. Instantly access the latest shorts in just one minute and breaking news in just 50 words. Download now for a smarter, faster news experience.